In today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to the two greatest factors that are gonna help you build your dream physique, okay? These factors are optimal training and optimal recovery. And in this video, I wanna give you a little introduction, a brief dive in of each of these so that you guys know the basics of how to train the best possible way and how to recover the best possible way so that you can finally achieve the dream of your physique. Ooh, I fucked that, the physique of your dreams. Still gonna keep that part in, that's a bit funny. This is the exact video I wish I watched when I was 16 years old. When I was scrolling through Instagram relentlessly seeing Simeon Panda jacked, seeing fucking um, Larry Wheels jacked, like all these guys with abs. And I was just there, 16 year old me, clueless. I had absolutely no idea how the fuck I'm gonna get this physique that I have now. I had no idea how the fuck I'm gonna build my muscle. And I was depressed. Can't lie, I was, I was a bit annoyed and I get bummed out and I think, bro, Will I ever reach that level? Will I ever upgrade and build myself? Will I ever ditch these skinny, long twig arms and the little belly I had and finally have a physique that I'm happy with? Fast forward a couple years, I've done it. And in this video, these two things are gonna be the things I wish I knew when I was 16 so I could hurry up and speed up this flipping process and get to this physique sooner. Okay, let's talk about optimal training, how we can make our training the most effective. The first thing is specificity. If you want to look jacked as fuck, you can't be running laps around the park. That's gonna work your cardio system, your respiratory system. No, 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 you need to be specific and you need to lift weights. Wait, no, no, here's the thing. You don't need to lift weights, but you need to do resistance training, whether that's in the form of lifting weights or body weight or, well, I guess that's really the only two ways. There needs to be some sort of resistance and it needs to be specific. I see guys all the time saying they want bigger legs, but all they do is squat. That's not really that specific, bro. Like squatting will get you bigger legs. But if you do hamstring curls and hinge, hinge patterns as well, that's way more specific. You get way bigger legs. Number two, train close to failure, right? Training close to failure is the key. It's the cornerstone of getting fucking huge because our muscles hypertrophy when they're asked to do a challenging task. If I have to curl with this pen, right, my biceps aren't gonna grow. And I'm gonna quickly explain why, right? Without getting too scientific, the way things work, or the way the muscles work, is that when we have to do a weight that's challenging, the whole muscle activates, the whole muscle is working. When we're using a weight that's fucking easy, that's a million reps away from failure, only a portion of the muscle fibers are working. The rest of the muscle fibers are asleep, if you wanna think of it. They're not working, they're not activated. So why the hell would we train in a way that only activates a quarter of our bicep? No, 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 let's train in a way that activates every single fiber that exists here so that we can get the whole bicep looking flipping bigger. That is the non-scientific generalized explanation of why we need to train close to failure. Number three, we train in the five to 30 rep range. Anything lower than five is a bit too strength biased and it begs the question, you know, how many sets of two are we gonna need to get fucking jacked. Too fucking many. Similarly, if we train with sets above 30 reps, it's too flipping light. And in my opinion, although the scientific literature says five to 30, I think five to 20 is a damn good rep range. I never do sets more than 20. Matter of fact, if I'm being honest, I never do sets more than 15. I train five to 15 for the most part. Occasionally I creep to the 17s and 18s, but five to 15 is your flipping beautiful sweet spot. Number four, good technique. This is so crucial because specificity, training close to failure and staying in the five to 30 rep range isn't gonna matter if you're doing quarter reps or if when the set gets hard, your range of motion gets decreased. No, 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 we have to keep good technique. Technique never drops despite no, no matter how hard the flipping set is, we could be on the last rep of a 10 rep max technique still needs to be there. And number five, progressive overload. Once we've given our body a stimulus and it's adapted, in other words, gotten bigger, you know, we're, we're, we're looking bigger, we need to give another stimulus so our body can adapt to that. And this other stimulus needs to be harder. We need to give our body something more to do and something more to adapt to. Now, if you guys wanna take the guesswork out of training and you want to know the exact sets, exercises, reps, and everything in between, all you have to do is click the first link in my description where I'm giving away my free hypertrophy program. 
everything you see on screen for completely free. Now let's talk about optimal recovery. How are we able to recover from the stimulus we give our body so that we're able to adapt to it? Number one, we need to be in a calorie surplus. You need to eat more food. Don't be like 16 year old Omar starving myself because all I cared about was abs and you know, I, w I wanted the chiseled six pack. Fuck that. Eat more food, be in a surplus and get enough protein in. Number two, sleep seven to nine hours every single day. I know you guys have heard this a million times and YouTube Fitness is kind of like a broken record because all we ever do is say sleep, 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 but sleep seven to nine hours Monday to Sunday. Not just the weekends, not just Monday to Friday, every single day. Number three, hydrate. The key to hydration is buy yourself a one gallon water bottle and drink it twice every single day. Yes, the toilet will be seeing you more, but hydration is so flipping key for our muscles, getting all the nutrients we need and to stay healthy and to stay alive. Because what's the point of being jacked if we're always dehydrated and we're always pissing out, fucking yellow piss and it's, it's yeah, you know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. Be healthy and drink water, you bitch. Skinny bitch. And number four, realize that the body and the recovery system is a whole unit. So what a lot of people think they can do is they think they can train four times a week in the gym and then run a half marathon another two times in the week. What they fail to realize is that the body is a whole system and it needs to recover as a whole. So yes, you can do other things in addition to resistance training, such as, you know, boxing classes a couple times a week, but you have to be mindful of how intense they are and you need to keep an eye out if they impede your ability to recover. So if you're not able to recover from gym, you're not gonna be making gains. You're not gonna be getting the physique of your dreams. So be careful when you do other things outside of gym so that they're not too intense to the point where you're not gonna be making any flipping gains in the gym. Like I always say, if I'm on your screen right now, then I've kept your interest somehow. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what other videos you want to see. Drop a like, subscribe as well, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.